I got really excited when I saw this particular software and it's a totally free open source software. So what it does is it takes video and if you want to snip out a little piece, maybe right at the start you want to just trim that off or you want to take, you know, a minute or 30 seconds in the middle of a big video, you want to take it out with normal editing, you've got to take it to the editor, you've got to slice up that piece and then re-render that little portion out. And sometimes if, if you know projects, certain projects will just take forever to render just a little small piece if you're working with a massive file because it's, it's literally cutting it and then it says to re-render, re-encode and all that. Introducing this program, which as I said is open source and free, it's called Lossless Cut. Now, um, this file I'm going to show it to you is, is 4 gigs, so we'll pull that into my second screen. But this is the address, uh, github.com forward slash mifi, m-i-f-i forward slash lossless dash cut. You can see it over here. So this is an open source project that's been developed. And it's a container, uh, a visual container like an interface that basically uses the FFmpeg open source uh, codec decoder and coder file. This is also an open source project. It can be used on Linux, Windows and uh, Mac OS and you can find it on the Apple Store, Microsoft Store. But you. If you just want to download it straight, I suggest just go here. I'm on Windows, so I downloaded it. It downloads the executable file. Once it's downloaded, let me show you in the folder how it will appear. Okay, so I've got it under my software and the video. So it comes like a folder like this. And when you unzip it, this is what you have. So this is the whole program. And then this is the executable file. So what I've done is just right click on that and I say pin to taskbar. So it's on my taskbar when I need to use it. You can actually create a shortcut here or on the desktop. And then you don't have to navigate through this every time. But that's all that they easy. Um, so let me run the program and show you how fantastic this works. Again, I'm not going to explain all the features here. There's tons of it, even if you go into the settings if i click on settings you're going to see tons of uh, features here that you can go work around with so you experiment for that maybe i do a video on that uh, as i get to learn more about the software there we go okay there we are um, so this is how it works you'll see this green here showing this green one which is showing you one hour and 32 minutes it's just demonstrating the whole file Here's the power of it. If I click here, I can drag. Maybe I want to see where I want to do my edit. Or I can just physically play it. If I play it, I can get to the point and stop it. So these little functions have their different features. You can go through them. I'm going to just show you how I'm going to cut a piece out. So yeah, um, say I am going to put a marker here. If I tap here, I've got it on that mark. Now yeah, I can tap in the closer detail I could possibly change it to you know uh, 23 colon you know 59 if I wanted to so I could be more sort of accurate there but I'm just using general area so then I drag my cursor say I want to go up until here now I would click this button here that makes the right marker now I can keep on doing this I can go here click the left one click right and I can make multiple segments but for me now I just want to take this section out over here okay as I say if I have to do this in a video editor it's going to take forever because it's taking the whole file cutting this piece off re-encoding it and then you drop a bit of quality this thing is lossless because all it does is digitally it goes at the bit level and snips that out and does it almost instantaneously so Here's the file here. If I make another snippet, maybe I should just make another snippet here. Click that side, go there, click that side. As you can see, I've got two of them now. And it says this one is 5 minutes 48, that one 6 minutes 30. So if those were the two pieces I wanted to snip out, that's all I do. And then I click export. Now at this point, it will export it to the same folder. We have literally cut out two of these pieces out of a 4 gig file and made them independent files. Yes, 273, 263. Isn't that incredible? 
So if I wanted to clear up this again, I, I could go choose another selected point. So I'm going to just remove this because I don't want to load the those same edits again. And then let me go here and drag the big file here. It's loading. And so I come here and this is the part. I'm going to make a marker here. And that's the other part uh, down there. And I'm going to make a marker there. So I just want to cut out this piece here. All I do is go export and that's it. That's how fast it was just to cut out that snippet. And there I have the extra snippet. So this thing is phenomenally fast. It literally just cuts it in seconds. Something that used to take sometimes even hours to render in big files. So hopefully this gives you an exciting start. Um, as you can see that little file area, maybe if I play it for you, you'll see it. So there's the file. That piece that we've cut out is all in there and the quality is all superb. It is like the original. So it doesn't re-encode it. All it does is snips it out. These guys that, in, that wrote this software are brilliant uh, and it's open source and totally free. So hopefully you get started with this and find great use, especially for videographers, for people who are doing web things and you have a a piece of a video that you want to put onto YouTube or onto Rumble and you don't want the whole section, you don't want to take it into video editors, this is the ideal tool and it's rocket speed fast. I love it. Quality and speed, that's all you need.